over here if you want to live. And watch out for the mines. Uh, quick, they're coming. Lock and load. They'll be here any second. Over here. There. That's it. Hey, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Well, with what I do for a living, you need to be. Sorry, I'm being a complete asshole. I'm Sydney. It's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. No need to be coy about it. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Only problem is... You're not going to get it without my help. Like I said, Abraham Washington. That's who. He's got plenty of caps and all kinds of valuables for trade. The guy lives over in Rivet City. Runs some sort of museum there. He buys all sorts of junk like this. Bring the declaration back with me, and we split the reward right down the middle. How's that grab ya? Smart move. Okay. The Declaration is secured in the Archive's strong room underground. There's a concealed cargo lift right here in the center of the rotunda. I've spent a few days hacking the lock with my remote terminal. When you're ready, punch in the password, let's get going. There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, WE THE PEOPLE. I got your back. Man? Today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our we defenses kept the have been in the archive strong room that's at the end of the east enemy. wing here. We'll have to make Men. our way to it. We can't let the enemy's progress. There's all sorts of shortcuts through us. maintenance doors and utility gates to bypass security. If you can get through them. Over here! According to the plans, the turret generator is somewhere in this room. Disable it, and it should make our lives easier. Flank them! Are you playing games with me, goddammit? I'm hit! I thought I heard something. Here! Since you don't yeah, see yeah, you want some of this? Well, that's the end of that. Where?
the enemy to penetrate. Our defense is any deeper. Old glory must not be. our defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The Declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope, the one thing that cries out we are a free nation. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Petty lies and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown, but I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. Saints alive! It is both an honor and a privilege, sir. I was hoping this day would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. All of my men await your command to push and retake the capital. May I ask where you intend to bring the document? A new president? So the stars and stripes truly are forever. All hail the red, white, and blue. Does... does this mean the war is over? Have we won? It's over? Amen to that. Then I suppose my posting here at the fort is complete. I think you said it best when you said, We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. It has been both an honor and a privilege to serve in the army of the United States. What are your final orders? Coming from you, that means all the world to me. 
It's been an honor and a privilege to serve my country. It's time for me to take a long needed rest. I think you'll find that the rest of my men are long due for the same. I hereby relinquish command and control of this fortification to you. Good luck to you, Mr. Jefferson, and give Sally my regards. Hello. I can't wait to add the declaration to the society's collection. Oh? And have you come to any conclusions? What? You have the declaration? Unbelievable! By bringing this to me, 
Do you realize you've both just written yourselves into the history books? You're both true American heroes and will be remembered for this glorious day. Sydney's name will forever be memorialized for her great sacrifice. She was a patriot and will be missed. But enough of that. Allow me to present you with some sort of compensation for your deed. Well, yes. Any document of historical significance would be of benefit to the society. However, I am also interested in branching out. Perhaps some interesting artifacts related to our great country's history. Be sure and bring me anything you find along those lines. I'd be happy to compensate you once again. Oh my! I never expected anyone to find this! I didn't even know it was still intact! Well, certainly a reward is in order for your efforts. How about 100 caps? Thank you very much. Indeed I am! Although there were several copies made of the document, I certainly never expected to come across one intact. What do you say to 75 caps for it? Thank you very much! Oh, it treats me well. I'm sure it will be even better now that we have the Declaration of Independence. Hopefully we can add more to the collection and increase our foot traffic. Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Welcome. Welcome back. Have you been... Excellent. Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well and return with more books when you can.
Oh my god. I thought I was dead. You saved me. They dropped this. I...
gonna tear you. Who's up? Yeah.
Here's the latest news. Unemployment is down, stocks are up, and the UN has just declared global peace forever. Now the real news. Ugh. All right, three dog has heard about some crazy things going on out there in the capital wasteland, but this one just might beat them all. I've been getting some scattered reports that a couple of costumed kooks have been battling for control of the settlement called Canterbury Commons. One of these wackos seems to be assisted by robots, and the other by mutated bugs. Every day it seems to be the same nutty scene, with the scuffles ending in a stalemate. So if your travels take you to Canterbury Commons, Keep your head down and your assault rifle loaded for crazy. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. Game's over!
No more games! Time to oh. die!
point. Now try it!
My dearest little moonbeam, I know you've been waiting to hear what happened. I'm sorry I left you like I did. An important deal came up. One that might have let us get away from the shack we were living in. I came to the Statesman Hotel to meet the buyer and the deal went bad. We shot each other and now I think I'm dying. I won't make it out of this place. The ruins are crawling with super mutants. All I can do is record this and then hide up in one of the rooms. You're a strong girl, and I know you can use everything I taught you to survive alone. Please forgive me, sweetie. I only wanted to make the best for us. Daddy loves you very much. Goodbye.
Game's over! Oh! Oh! Moving! Hey you, get your ass over here before you attract every super mutant in the building. Cut it out. The name's Butcher. I'm the team medic. It's good to see a friendly face. Okay now, who the heck are you and when are reinforcements coming? Hmm, you made it all the way up here alive. Okay, I'm impressed. Riley must have sent the right person for the job, as usual. Hey, is she okay? That's a relief. I told her she was nuts when she decided to try to sneak out of here. Guess I was wrong. Now, let's talk about getting out of here. I would have proposed going back the way you came, but apparently it's impossible now. So, the express elevator is our only solution. You're right. What we need is something to power the elevator motor up here and get the thing going. On the way up here, I'm pretty certain we passed a maintenance room. Inside was a wrecked protectron. If you can get me its fission battery, I can have Donovan jury-rig the elevator. 
Fantastic. Get that over to Donovan right away. As soon as he gets it up and running, make a break for it. Remember, our rally point is our HQ, Ranger Compound. Don't stop for anything. Hey there. Donovan at your service. You break it, I fix it. Let me have that thing. Give me a few minutes, and I'll have the elevator up and running. As soon as I get it online, we'll get out of here. Good to see you. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Oh, oh. Oh.
This is a high pro
for 44 days and 67 nights, and we'll never know this! Not bad, kid. Not bad. You look like you've been through hell. I bet it was. Frankly, I'm amazed you made it. Can you give me a full debriefing on what happened out there with my man? I'm very impressed at your skill. I don't think I've come across someone quite like you in the ruins. I suppose I owe you a debt, and I intend to pay it in kind. I'm sure you're more interested in your reward than listening to me talk, so let me get right to it. Okay, but at least let me thank you for... Not bad, kid. Not bad. You look like you've been through hell. Now you sound like a merc. Well, let's cut the bullshit and get right to it then. So for your reward, what'll it be? The Ranger battle armor or one of Brick's miniguns? The armor it is. Wear it with pride, kid. We do. Consider this place your home away from home. If you're ever in the neighborhood again, you're more than welcome to take shelter here. I guess that does it. See you around, kid. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this kind of job anymore. I almost got everyone killed in Vernon Square. What kind of a responsible leader does that? It was one bad decision after another. Yeah, but I led the guys right into a corner. Theo died because I decided to take shelter in the hospital. I'm not so sure I'd be trusted leading anyone at this point. Thanks. You're sweet to try and make me feel better about everything. I just hope that I can get back to mapping the ruins soon. I have a lot of contacts that are demanding I finish. You'd risk your neck for me like that? Well, 
Okay. I hadn't expected this, but I'll certainly take you up on it. Oh, and I insist on paying you. I won't take no for an answer. For every map marker you uncover in the Capital Wasteland, I'll pay you a fair sum in bottle caps. All you have to do is find them. Come back here and I'll get them off your pit boy there. Here, take this geomapper. Please don't lose it. Donovan spent a year developing it and I only have a few. It will offload all the map data you collect from your pit boy automatically. When you come back, I can take the data from it and you get paid. Riley keeps talking about you. You made it. Great. Need patching up? Things seem better now. Riley's gained back her confidence a bit. We've been doing stuff here and there. I don't know what you said to her, but thanks. Have a good... Hey there. Got anything? Let me give you a word of advice. Stay away from them. They give mercs a bad name. They have no morals, no remorse, and wouldn't hesitate to put a bullet through a defenseless man's head if it meant a job. They've been pretty active lately around the old Capitol building ruins. I'd recommend giving that area a wide berth. Yeah, we've crossed paths. Fortunately, we just stepped out of each other's way. Brick almost turned it into a damn bloodbath when one of them spit on her boots. But I was able to hold her back. Excellent. Let me offload the data and I'll be glad to pay you. What's up, Wastelanders? This is Street All. Well, well. Yeah, oh, galaxy news radio. Me and Eugene missed you. Everyone ready for the Capital Wasteland's latest news? Me neither, but it's that time again. Fear not, my poor lost flock. <laughs> for the Shepherd of Vault 101 has come to guide you to the Promised Land. Maybe. Listen to this. The master of adventure himself, that rough and tumble lad from Vault 101, has really outdone himself this time. The kid has recovered one of this country's most important historical artifacts, the Declaration of Independence. Huzzah! The time of British oppression is finally over. Now we can finally turn our attention to the super mutants, raiders, and rad scorpions. Thanks for listening, children! This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. And now, a super important public service announcement. Just a friendly reminder to all you would-be bigots out there, ghouls are people, too. You see, children... Ghouls are simply humans who've been exposed to an ungodly amount of radiation and haven't had the good fortune to die. Sure, they may look like hideous zombies from an old monster flick, but their hearts, their souls, their tears are all very much human. So please, if you meet one of the Capital Wasteland's many ghouls, leave your prejudice at the door and your pistol in its holster. Ah, yes. One important caveat, kiddies. Those feral ghouls that prefer the dark, dank underground? They are basically mindless zombies, so kill as many as you damn well please. And now, some music.
Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the. No. The best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck. I've won the Nuka-Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Yep, I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook-off using Nuka-Cola and the recipe. Last year, I went with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious. Well, only two right now, me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. I sure did. Want to take it now? How can you resist? This stuff is so cool. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka-Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka-Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your, um, your pea glow. I love the stuff! I can't get enough of it! I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more! That's right. You bring me Nuka-Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all... I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade. The only one in the whole Capital Wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. 
Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. Well, the DC facility was like their main factory just before the bombs fell. All the research they did was performed there. It was the only facility to ever produce quantum. They were in a test market mode, and they would have expanded production if the drink caught on. Too bad they didn't. Otherwise, quantum would be as plentiful as regular Nuka-Cola. Be careful out there, sweetie. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Because I'm making sure that no one messes with her. She's my girl, you know. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. She's one hot lady, though, am I right? All right, suit yourself. I was going to make you an offer that could earn you some caps, but if you don't have the time to listen... Look what we have here. Hey, pal, what were you doing? Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. Now you're speaking my language. Well, only problem is she won't give it up for me. That's where you come into the picture. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. You devious bastard. I didn't figure you were that clever. All right, all right, double it is. Just bring me those bottles. If I have to listen to Sierra ramble on any longer, I think I'll blow my brains out. So you gonna do it or what? Thought you might. Good. I'll see you soon then. the end of that. Got something you want?
trespasser detected. Scanning administration. All trespassers are to be eliminated. Expulsion protocol. A F. Scanning for hostiles. By order of the Nuka-Cola administration, all. By order of the failure, sir. Execute expulsion protocol. KL-001. Kill all trespassers.
Hello there, fellow employee. I don't believe we've met. I'm your factory foreman, Milo. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please give me your job posting title and employee registration number for my permanent records. The name is verified in my system with no existing or issued employee number. Voice stress pattern within normal parameters. Executive override protocol initiated. What may I do for you on this wonderfully productive day? That information is in the shipping computer terminal. The passcode for the terminal is NCC1864. Oh, and this facility is a stunning accomplishment by the creative minds at the Nuka-Cola Corporation. We use cutting-edge equipment to keep the world's most popular soft drink in full production, 24 hours a day. This unit prides itself on over 457 days without a single death or major limb loss of any personnel. This product is the pinnacle of taste sensation. 17 fruit flavors and that signature cola taste blend to form the perfect refreshing soft drink. With its new strontium additive, it's got that unique kick to keep you on your toes. Have a...
this area. Bringing me some quantum, I hope. My friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. 
One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich building to the south. That place is bad, Mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. Well, this should be enough to fill that stupid machine of hers. Thanks for all your help, but our transaction is done. I'll take any extras off your hands for now, but then I'm done with these disgusting drinks. They taste horrible. Now to put the moves on my lady. Come and watch an expert at work.